Imagine a huge ship loaded with super powerful weapons and gadgets just a short distance from China's strong navy. It's like a staring contest where things could get really bad in a snap. One wrong move, and we might end up in a situation we never want to see, World War III. But wait, how did we even get here? How did a regular Navy thing turn into a big, scary situation? We're digging into the past to find out. We're talking about arguments over who owns what land, old grudges, and tensions heating up. All these things are like puzzle pieces that help us understand why this situation is so dangerous. A close call in the South China Sea. The Chinese Navy ship unexpectedly crosses an American destroyer's Taiwan Strait path during a U.S. The Navy labeled an unsafe manoeuvre over the weekend, slowing the American ship to avoid a collision. The U.S. Indo-Pacific Command reported that a Chinese guided missile destroyer passed the U.S. Chung Hoon on its port side before deviating directly over her bow at 137 meters. The film showed the American warship continuing its path, although the Navy said it slowed to 10 knots to avoid a collision. The American warship and the Canadian frigate HMCS Montreal were transiting the Taiwan mainland China Strait under freedom of navigation when they collided. China believes it is part of its economic zone, but the US and its Western allies say it is open to international travel. John Kirby, a spokesman for the National Security Council, told reporters at the White House that the near call in the Taiwan Strait is part and parcel of an increasing level of aggressiveness by China's military. He called the Chinese activities unsafe and unprofessional, adding that they may result in miscalculations in the future. The Chinese ship widened out to resume parallel sailing after cutting over the bow of the American ship. The event occurred on a day when both Chinese military minister General Li Shangfu and U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin were in Singapore for an annual military conference. Now let's take a deep dive into the reasons or events that led up to this collision. China's claims in the South China Sea The last several decades have seen a significant transition in China's geopolitical aspirations as it tries to establish itself as a superpower. China's territorial claims in the South China Sea, an area of enormous strategic and economic significance, are at the heart of this desire. In order for the nation to become a superpower, it must not only firmly consolidate its authority over enormous tracts of land, but also establish dominance along important maritime and commercial routes. China's claims are predicated on the idea of the Nine Dash Line. This invented delineation encompasses seas that other countries also claim and defines a sizable portion of the South China Sea, well outside of China's border. This aggressive strategy is based on claiming Chinese historical dominance over the seas bounded by the Nine Dashes. It's crucial to emphasize that this assertion of sovereignty is debatable because it is not based on any international law or treaties. Due to its crucial importance as a commerce route, the South China Sea has enormous economic significance. Every year, trillions of dollars worth of products flow through its seas, making it an important hub for world trade. Due to the region's economic and strategic military significance, China wants to dominate this marine area. By acquiring sovereignty over the South China Sea, China hopes to boost its geopolitical power and access to important resources and markets. However, China's claims and the Nine Dash Line have faced resistance. Vietnam, Taiwan, the Philippines, Malaysia, and Brunei contest China's broad territorial claims. The international world, including the US, has not recognized the Nine Dash Line's validity. This silence underscores China's assertions as other parties' consensus. China's ambitious territorial ambitions and pursuit of superpower status are creating a complicated and dangerous geopolitical environment which is becoming increasingly apparent as tensions grow. The struggle between China's expansive claims and other nations' interests might affect the region's dynamics and the world's power balance. Less involvement and in naval visits to Vietnam. As the dynamics of the South China Sea and the larger geopolitical environment change, the U.S. Navy's presence in Vietnam has become more important. Beijing has expressed concern about this involvement highlighting the intricate interactions between regional superpowers. China is worried about the growing U.S.-Vietnam alliance for a variety of reasons, including historical anxiety and current strategic considerations. Warring nations like China and Vietnam have a troubled history together, which includes the conflict that occurred on their shared border in 1979. 
Beijing might be wary of any alliance between Vietnam and a strong foreign force like the United States due to the lingering mistrust brought about by these historical wounds. However, China's concerns are also based on the reality of the present. The U.S. involvement in Vietnam is part of a larger pattern of Indo-Pacific alliances driven frequently by shared security concerns. This kind of cooperation thwarts China's ambitions to expand its influence and territorial authority in the South China Sea, especially when it involves strong maritime nations like the United States. It is essential to look at the historical background of China-Vietnam ties in order to put the present situation into perspective. These two countries have traveled a difficult historical path that has seen both war and collaboration. The 1979 border war, which had its origins in ideological and geopolitical disagreements, left deep wounds. However, both countries have worked to rebalance their ties over time. A cautious detente has been possible thanks to contemporary alliances and diplomatic contacts, despite the fact that there are still unresolved issues. Beyond the immediate diplomatic courtesies, the U.S. Ronald Reagan aircraft carrier's visit to Vietnam has strategic and symbolic ramifications. This visit, the third by a U.S. Navy carrier since the conclusion of the Vietnam War, represents a turning point in the U.S.-Vietnam relationship as a whole. It highlights Vietnam's expanding involvement in the regional security system and its readiness to work with a wide range of partners to protect its security and sovereignty. This visit is part of a larger pattern of U.S. naval involvement in Vietnam and not an isolated incident. Earlier trips, including those by the U.S. Carl Vinson in 2018 and the U.S. Theodore Roosevelt in 2020, have established a precedent for enhancing relations between the two countries. These trips support the idea that Vietnam is prepared to engage in a precarious geopolitical balancing act, establishing ties with both regional and international powers to express its interests and maintain regional stability. Vietnam's Approach and Historical Context the history of Vietnam is a tapestry made of alliances, wars, and colonial oppression. The country suffered centuries of foreign domination, including French colonial authority and Chinese occupation. These events permanently altered the Vietnamese mentality, establishing a strong sense of national identity and a steadfast will to defend sovereignty. The Vietnam War serves as a sobering reminder of the deadly repercussions of involvement in international power conflicts. Due to U.S. military involvement and a communist victory afterward, the conflict had a significant impact on Vietnam's approach to international affairs and left behind long-lasting wounds as well as a general suspicion of outside interference. This has led to a strategy defined by balancing competing interests and maintaining its independence. Vietnam's involvement with the U.S. and other nations demonstrates this strategic approach. The country started on a road of healing and reconciliation following the Vietnam War. Diplomatic initiatives, such as the restoration of relations with the U.S. in 1995, serve as a symbol of Vietnam's determination to re-establish ties and carve out a niche in the international community. Importantly, Vietnam's diplomatic strategy requires purposeful alliance building to achieve its goals. The nation has skillfully negotiated regional and global influences to ensure stability and economic growth. Russian, Indian, and Japanese partnerships have been developed to diversify alliances and reduce dependency on one state. Vietnam's worldwide participation shows its practicality and adaptability. The country supports ASEAN and the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership CPTP, to promote joint security and economic growth. Vietnam's international tango shows its strength and strategy. Due to its history, the nation's caution shows a deep awareness of global influences. Taiwan's resistance to China's pressure In the intricate web of international geopolitics, the dispute over Taiwan is one of the most delicate and important issues. China's unwavering assertion of Taiwan's sovereignty is at the heart of this dispute, and it has important ramifications not just for cross-strait relations but also for the larger regional and global balance of power. China's historical unification story is a key component of its claim to sovereignty over Taiwan. Taiwan is seen by Beijing as a rebellious province that has to be retaken in order to realize its goal of a united China. This claim is profoundly rooted in China's national identity and the historical view of the Chinese people as a whole. It also has legal and political implications. 
the strategic importance of Taiwan inside the first island chain makes this problem much more complicated. Taiwan, which is located around 100 miles from China's southeast coast, plays a significant role in the region's marine environment. It is a keystone in the first island chain, a collection of islands that contains a number of areas crucial to the strategic objectives of countries like the United States. Control over Taiwan may provide China with a favorable vantage point for projecting influence in the Western Pacific, changing regional dynamics, and impacting the balance of power on a global scale. Conflict and complexity have historically characterized Taiwan's relationship with China. Taiwan initially came under Chinese rule in the 17th century, and through colonialism and conflict, its future changed. Civil conflict in mainland China after World War II resulted in the establishment of the Communist Party of China PRC, and the Kuomintang-led government fleeing to Taiwan. Due to this division, two distinct governments emerged, each claiming to speak for all of China. Taiwan's independent stance is disputed. Taiwan has its own government, military, and economy, and is de facto independent, but it doesn't declare independence for fear of upsetting Beijing. Taiwanese people are proud of their nation despite this tactic. Taiwan wants independence from China, whereas China wants reunification. Taiwan strongly opposes the PRC's one country, two systems concept, which Hong Kong successfully adopted. Taiwan's freedoms and autonomy may be lost with this plan's reunification. Taiwan's importance goes beyond politics. The semiconductor manufacturing business is vital to the world on the island. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, dominates the semiconductor business, powering most gadgets. Taiwan has international economic influence due to its supremacy. Smartphones and artificial intelligence systems depend on the Taiwan semiconductor sector, highlighting its relevance. Supply chain disruptions in recent years have highlighted Taiwan's importance in the global ICT ecosystem. Do you think Taiwan's resilience will stand firm against China's claims, or can a peaceful resolution be found in this high-stakes game of sovereignty? China's behavior in the South China Sea China's activities in the South China Sea have caused great worry on the part of the international community since they have changed the geopolitical landscape of the area by building and militarizing man-made islands. Discussions regarding this ambitious project have sparked China's territorial aspirations, the expansion of its power, and the ensuing tensions that have spread throughout the region. A symbol of China's steadfast pursuit of establishing territorial claims and enhancing its presence in this strategically important area is the building of artificial islands in the South China Sea. These man-made islands, constructed on features that were formerly underwater, are outfitted with runways, military outposts, and other amenities that extend China's influence well beyond its borders. This not only gives Beijing more control over the marine area, but it also gives them a way to project strength and sway the surrounding nations. The militarization of these islands raises concerns about China's intentions. The conversion of these natural features into hardened military installations has raised concerns among nearby nations and superpowers. This is seen by the international community as a deliberate action designed to advance China's territorial claims and undercut the accepted principles of freedom of navigation in international seas. China's growing sway and territorial aspirations have created a sense of control in the area, which in turn raises concerns about possible power imbalances. Due to China's forceful approach, neighboring nations like Vietnam, the Philippines, and Indonesia have had to review their own security postures and look for partnerships with other countries to balance China's expanding influence. Due to China's forceful behavior and conflicting territorial claims with other countries, tensions in the South China Sea have increased. These man-made islands' formation and militarization have given rise to a complicated web of territorial disputes and conflicting interests. As China's military presence grows, the core concepts of international maritime law, freedom of navigation and overflight are coming under attack. Mischief Reef, which is a portion of the disputed Spratly Islands, is one particular place that best represents China's activities. An armed outpost with anti-aircraft weapons and defense systems has emerged from what was formerly a modest shack purported to be a fisherman's shelter. Mischief Reef is a microcosm of China's larger goals in the South China Sea, demonstrating its steadfast commitment to impose control over huge areas of land and resources. 
Imagine a future where the artificial islands rising in the South China Sea define global power dynamics. Is this a future we can afford to let unfold? Conclusion As we sign off, remember that understanding these global events is super important. It's a big world out there, and what happens between countries affects all of us. Stay curious, keep learning, and keep your eye on the headlines, because you never know what might happen next. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on more gripping stories like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Thanks for joining us on this thrilling ride. Until next time, stay safe, stay informed, and keep exploring the incredible world around you.